Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, Tampa, Florida. Well, I'm not there now, I'm actually in Georgia on my way home from Virginia. And I decided to take some time while I'm driving to shoot some videos. And this video is a, can you turn the sound off of that please? It's my uh, daughter, she's back there playing on her uh, iPod Touch and annoying me just a little bit. So, this video is going to be about a question that I get asked a lot. And I say that, when I start these videos, I'm always like, I get this question a lot, blah, 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 blah. And since I started this channel, this new channel, dedicated to showing you guys how I do things uh, and you know to try to help you to run your business a little better um, I've gotten lots of requests and I can tell you that my my list is like a, a full solid book long of videos I need to shoot but I was just uh, we just stopped at a rest area so we could go to the bathroom and it just popped in my head that I needed to shoot a video on where do I start with a, with a detail? A lot of people ask me, do you do the outside first or the inside first? Now, part of being efficient on the level of efficiency that I'm on, which is like maxed out pretty much. Now, I'll, I'll find other ways, that's for sure, to, to improve even what I'm doing now, but for years, I've I've done this the same way, and the the reason that I do interiors first is so I should back up and say I limit my liability by having the customer put the vehicle where it needs to go. I don't drive the vehicle unless I have to. Insurance or not, you still want to limit your liability, and I've mentioned all of that in the. Uh, do I need business insurance video. Um, I limit my liability at all costs whenever I can. Uh, and when it comes to moving a vehicle, I just don't want to do it. Because if I wreck it, it's my fault. And that's where I'm at. So I have the customer put the vehicle where it needs to go. Uh, there are some occasions where I have to move the vehicle. And you know that's that. Uh, but it is risk and you want to limit that as best you can. So, when I show up to a job, if the vehicle's not in an area where it's fully accessible, or it's not in the shade and it, it could be, I will have the customer move it to accommodate me a little bit more in the situation. So, once the vehicle is where it's gonna be for the detail, I will start on the interior and I have found that when I can get the interior knocked out you know do the vacuuming the carpets the upholstery nooks and crannies get the vehicle done and just get out of it I'm not hot and sweaty dripping all over it um, you know I get in there and I get sweaty but I'm not coming from being hot and sweaty from the outside. I just kind of want to, I always I always like to get the interior done and then just shut the car down uh, and then do the exterior. Now, if you were doing a traditional wash and you had deionized water and you want it to be more efficient, then I would always say do the wash first let some of that water dry while you do the interior and then finish the car off after that. So if you're doing a traditional wash and then rinsing with deionized water that isn't gonna spot up, I would do it the other way. I would do the outside first, hose it down and rinse it off after you wash it. Uh, you'll rinse it with the deionized water. And while you're doing the interior, you can let some of that water on the outside dry so there's not as much to wipe up and you know reducing the chance of installing swirl marks and blah 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 
But when you're gonna do, like when I show up to do the Gary Dean wash method, which is pretty much 95% of everything I do, or more, I will do the interior first, get out of the interior. I will do the Gary Dean wash method on the exterior, and then clean the wheels, that kind of thing. And then uh, I will wipe out the door jams. Actually, I should backtrack. When I get the interior done, I'll get outside of the car, I'll do the Gary Dean wash method on the paint. Then I take, because I use the remainder of the water for the wheels, I'll take a clean towel out of the bucket and do the door jams with it before I do the wheels. So do the interior, shut the car down, and then do the Gary Dean wash method on the exterior, hit the door jams with a clean towel, then I'll do the wheels, and then uh, after that, I'll dress the tires so that that can be uh, drying while I use either uh, Infinite Use Detail Juice as a detail spray just to wipe the car down, make sure there's no streaks or spots or anything left, uh, or apply Juice Boost, because Juice Boost can be used in the same way direct to paint, or you can add it to the Infinite Use Detail Juice in the diluted mixture. So, just to recap, if I'm going to do a traditional wash and then rinse with deionized water, I will do the exterior wash first, clean the wheels, that kind of thing, and then while the water, the rinse water is drying a little bit, I'll do the interior. Then I'll wipe the door jams out, shut the car down, and then I will detail spray and dry and all that to the exterior and then, you know, dress the tires and that kind of thing. I always want to give, I want, you don't want the tire dressing to be the last thing that you do because you want that stuff to dry. And not only do you want it to dry, it only takes 10 to 15 minutes for it to fully dry, especially if you're using my transform dressing. Uh, that stuff's pretty amazing, either straight or even diluted 50-50 for tires works awesome. Uh, that's generally how I use it. Uh, you're kind of wasting it using it straight uh, unless you're using it on trim or if you want it to last a lot longer, um, you can use it straight. There's more polymer on the surface. But just make sure you, you don't leave a ton of residue in the, uh, in, the tr in, the, um, in the tread of the tire. If you have pools of product in the tread uh, and it doesn't dry up, in the amount of time you give it to dry, it's gonna sling all over the place. No matter what you use, doesn't matter. So make sure you're not caking it on. And that's why I like to use it diluted, the transform dressing, because when you use it diluted, you don't have that thick gel compound that's gonna be left in the cracks and crevices. Uh, you'll have it dry far faster if you dilute it 50-50 and then spray it on a, uh, a foam applicator and then wipe it on. It's uh, it's gonna dry far faster uh, and you'll end up with a better end result. And it lasts plenty long just like that. But um, that's kind of where I'm at with that. So those are your two options if you wanna do it my way. Um, and I mean, either way you do it is fine, but I have found with those two different situations, whether you're doing a traditional wash or the Gary Dean wash method, rinseless wash, uh, that's the way that I do it to be most efficient uh, and to save time. Now again, the cool part about the traditional wash thing and rinsing with deionized water and then leaving the water to dry a little bit while you get the interior done is even if you get the car washed, you're still gonna have that residual water dripping out of the cracks and crevices anyway, uh, unless you're blowing out the cracks, which I feel like is a waste of time if it's in direct sunlight and you've got deionized water. So just keep all that in mind when you decide which type of wash you're using. I can tell you that I, I use the uh, rinseless wash method, uh, the Gary Dean wash method, far more than a traditional wash. I barely ever do a traditional wash. so. Those are my preferences to save the most amount of time and be the most efficient. 
If you guys got questions about that, 813-846-4406. Um, and that would go the same for you know your higher end details or whatever, doesn't matter what level it is. Uh, that's just how I do it. And that's that really. I mean, the other cool thing is uh, if you are uh, doing a more thorough job as far as a bigger interior detail, the longer you let it sit before you leave, the better because you're letting the interior dry fully so that you can control um, you know, how it's left. So it won't be as dry. And if you guys follow me, uh, I, you know that I, I do a damp shampoo method or I will completely gut the interior. I do not use an extractor. I think they're worthless. Um, all they do is create more problems by waking up all the soiling inside the foam and on the floorboard and sucking it all out is like a, a waste of time. It just doesn't work out. I don't like extractors. I think they're worthless. Um, just my opinion. I can have that if I'd like. So anyway, if you got any questions, 813-846-4406. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It is a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products and processes. And if you love this video, click the like button. Please subscribe to this channel. If you don't like it, whatever. I appreciate you guys for listening to me. Yep. Hey, I just wanted to add that I shot this video on what section of the car do I start with on a detail. But as far as on what do I do first on the exterior and on the interior, if I'm doing the interior first or even if I'm doing it last, it doesn't matter, I like to start with the vacuuming. I do the vacuuming first. I get all the vacuuming done, then I get out the diluted infinite use detail juice and I wipe all the interior panels down clean out the console, do that thing. Then I will assess what needs to be done from there because if I'm gonna do a damp shampoo on the carpets, after I brush it all out and clean the soiling from the carpets, uh, you generally are gonna break some dirt and debris up. So you're gonna need to do a light vacuum again anyway. But I like to get all the bulk out of the way before I go into doing that. Uh, so. You know, I'll do the, I'll vacuum first, then I'll wipe everything down, clean the console area, and then you can assess where you need to be from there. Whether it need to be more heavy cleaning, or whether it need to be, you know, more carpet shampooing, or 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 what the situation is um, from there. And then, you know, after I get the carpets done, I will uh, go into maybe if it, the leather needs to be cleaned, I'll clean that and then condition that and all the interior panels. Uh, and then I'll do that light final vacuum after the damp shampoo last before I shut all the doors and get out of the car. Um, as far as the exterior goes, uh, what I generally will do is, you know, obviously the pre-rinse. Um, I do the wheels last because I'm using a gallon of water on most, most cars and I want to use the clean water for the paint and then I want to use the water that's left over to do the wheels and the tires and the fender wells. Um, so they're generally dirtier than the paint is, so you need more lubrication for that to get them clean. So as far as the, the vehicle goes, I'll do my pre-soak or my pre-rinse. So pre-soak if you're doing the Gary Dean wash method, pre-soak with the uh, infinite use detail juice because we know it has rapid encapsulation technology that uh, basically once you spray it on it's surrounding that dirt and debris and grime and encapsulating it and lifting it off the surface so that when you do take that uh, soaking wet towel uh, in the infinite use detail juice solution uh, and 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 glide across it it's gonna lift that dirt up easier so I'll do the paint uh, you know the, the pre soak or pre rinse pre rinse if you're using uh, DI water or whatever uh, for a traditional wash uh, or even if you're not using DI water. If you're not, you should be. Uh, if you're in Florida, you should check out All Florida Water. Uh, that's who I use, they're amazing. I can give you the number to uh, my guy, uh, Jason. He's, he's awesome. He, they, uh, they are actually a subsidiary of Culligan. But uh, anyway, so pre-rinse or pre-soak, depending on what type of washing you're doing. Uh, and then after that, I execute the wash. And then 
once the paint is washed, then I'll go into cleaning the wheels, tires, and fender wells. And then after all of that is clean, I use um, the Ebony Use Detail Juice to wipe down uh, the paint and the glass and all that stuff. Uh, also the wheels, or if I'm gonna protect, I'll just use Juice Boost, because that will uh, work as a detail spray as well, uh, but adds a lot of polymer protection. Uh, the cost ratio is a little different, so make sure you're charging for the juice boost if you're using it. Uh, but that's that's where I'm at. Uh, then you know, like I said before, I do any of the detail spray or any of that. I'll dress the tires, dress the tires, and plenty of time for that stuff to dry. Uh, the transform dressing diluted 50 50 works awesome and it dries pretty fast 10 to 15 minutes and they can take the car wherever they want no, nothing will sling off and the tires will look amazing um, i always use infinite purpose cleaner to clean the tires or tiger's blood depending on my mood and the severity of the situation so welcome to florida yay we're in florida yay back home almost i got about three hours before i'm back home but anyway that's where I'm at with what I do when, and that's pretty much the same for every job. I mean, uh, if you're working on paint correction, uh, I still still would get the interior done first. I would do a uh, quick prep with the Gary Dean wash method, and then you know clay bar it real quick, and then hit it with um, uh, the detail spray afterwards, after it's dry, or juice boost. If you are doing the paint correction, uh, then you'll just use regular infinite use detail juice because you don't want to add any polymer. Uh, so get the car washed, get the interior done, get the prep done, get the clay bar done, and then just go straight into polishing. Tape up whatever trim you want to tape up. I will be doing a paint correction video soon on how I sell it, which is important. It's important how I sell it. How I sell it, how I execute it, uh, the differences between the different levels and packages. I'm gonna work on that, but I wanna I wanna do some comparisons on that one. I wanna I wanna show you. I don't wanna just yap to the camera. I wanna show you guys some stuff um, so that you can better understand how I sell it. And again, how I do things business-wise is why I'm successful. Not as much how I actually do the job. It's how the business flows and works. So I'll get you guys some of that information. If you guys have uh, questions for me, you know the phone number is 813-846-4406. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.